Good evening everybody, this is North Clan Prepper. And I want to talk to you about some dangers that I came across on powder coating today. Legal dangers. Or loopholes or unsafe steps. Basically basically, um I was redoing all the paperwork a while back for, you know, CCW and um one of the things I was going over the rules and regulations and stuff and refreshing myself. And one of the rules I'm trying to slide. There, that's better. That's cool. One of the rules and regulations <clears throat> is about is about uh, coatings on bullets. And back in the day, I'm talking like in the 80s, they had these bullets that were, uh, they called them cop killers. And about Teflon. Or Teflon coated bullets. <clears throat> and I was thinking, I w you know, about powder coating. I said, well, that's coating, you know, Molly, but Molly's not Teflon. But... I think there might be a legal grounds for legal problems on certain powder coatings. So I went online and I looked around today and I found several Teflon powder coating paints. They're for lubricated parts and stuff. So I thought I would bring that to your guys' attention that if you powder coating and it's got Teflon in it, um, you're entering a legal area here. Um, <clears throat> now, that may not be the letter of the law. And it could be simply as, you know, well, we'll let a judge decide. Well, that's after it cost you thousands and thousands of dollars when it was a simple mistake. So, be aware of what you're powder coating with. <coughs> I made sure there was no Teflon in any of these bullets. Uh, this is Harbor Freight powder coat. I went through all the materials in it. There's no Teflon in there of any kind, but... Uh, I thought I'd bring that to you guys' attention because that's that's the potential that things could go bad. Uh, back in the the, the shooting of uh, Trayvon Martin and George Zimmerman and stuff, they were throwing everything at him they could. And if he had had powder coated bullets, they would have said, "Well, you know, you modified these or uh, Teflon in the powder coating." They could say he's like modified it to be more deadly or more armor piercing or, or whatever Teflon was supposed to do. Maybe let it go out of the gun faster, or higher velocity or something. I don't, I don't remember what the reason was, but it was a no-go. So, I thought I'd point it out to you guys and make sure we don't step in any, uh, any holes here and trip ourselves up. So, just be sure there's no Teflon component in your powder coating. Because, like I said, there, there are parts that are powder coated with Teflon uh, for lubrication and, I guess, durability and stuff. But, you know. I'm not worried about my barrel getting leaded with powder coating, but I just thought I'd bring that to you guys' attention. So be aware, and you know, please rate and subscribe. <laughs> All right, have a great day, everybody. Just gonna put it out. Post your comments below. All right, later.